Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Overwatch 2 guide. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at D.Va. Now this is a tank that a lot of people love, and for good reason. And we'll be going over how to best play her so you can carry your team. Now starting off, we're going to be going over D.Va's fusion cannons. These are the two giant guns on the side of her mech that have this shotgun type effect. They shoot rather fast, and as you can see, when up close and personal, pack a punch. They can also be very nice for mid-range for just peppering away at the enemy. The fusion cannons do not need to be reloaded, nor do they overheat. So quite literally, the only downside to using them is that you just slow down your movement a little bit, as you can see here. Her other offensive weapon in her arsenal are her micro-missiles. Now, these rockets are a projectile that last about two and a half seconds and deal 160 damage to an enemy if all hit. The amazing thing about these rockets, though, is they can be fires simultaneously with your fusion cannons, resulting in some crazy damage per second. The micro rockets can also be used with D.Va's defense matrix and her boost, which we will talk about momentarily. D.Va's L1 ability activates her boosters. Now her boosters have a travel distance of 25 meters and last for two seconds. They also have a very small five second cooldown. What this allows you to do as D.Va is dive in on any squishy targets in the back line. So let's say I'm fighting their tank in a damage and I see that, whoa, one of their supports is up there by himself. What I can do as D.Va is fly up there and take the fight to the support. As you saw there, her fusion cannons and missiles can be used while using the boost. This allows her to just be an absolute terror on the enemy backline. Now her second to final ability is her defense matrix. What this amazing ability does is completely nullify any projectile or hit scan damage. The defense matrix can be held for three seconds and has a cooldown that's about I think six and a half seconds. But this is amazing for not only getting yourself out of trouble but stopping any kind of damage from coming into your team. Lastly we have D.Va's ultimate, self-destruct. What this allows you to do is hop out of your mech and use it as a giant bomb. This bomb will one-shot any squishy target caught within its radius. Hey, past Noah, I'ma stop you right there. This is future Noah, letting you know that you're a dumbass. Because D.Va's ultimate can in fact kill anything in the game as long as it is close enough. However, the further away that the actual enemy is from the blast radius, the more health they will be left with. This makes completely finishing tanks off a very difficult task, but it's very easy to finish off a squishy target. All right, back to you. And as you can see, now we are left with what we like to call Baby Diva. You go into this mode whenever you either A, use your ultimate, or B, get shot out of your mech. All you have to your disposal in this mode is your pistol. It does a little under 20 a headshot and around 7 per body shot. However, once you do enough damage, your ultimate will recharge. This will allow you to resummon your Diva mech and get right back into the action. As you can see here, once you lose all your health in the mech, you also get out of it. Now, there are a few techniques with D.Va that will make you that much more potent on the battlefield. First off is knowing how to combo all your abilities when you're diving a target. When you dive a target, you want to simultaneously boost, shoot them with your fusion cannons, and shoot them with your rockets. So it would be something like no! this right here. God! As you can see, that absolutely obliterates a squishy target's health. Something I forgot to mention, the boost is also a great way to displace enemies. So if you have some poor soul on the edge of a map, you can knock them off just like that. Oh! Alright, just pretend you didn't see that. Another big thing you want to know as D.Va is how to launch your self-destruct. Now before, I showed you how to do the ultimate just being stationary. But, you can pop your ultimate while in the middle of a boost and send it in like a freaking nuke. What you want to do is fly in and at about the halfway mark, just let her rip. This also allows you to safely launch the ultimate over buildings and can absolutely catch people by surprise. Another similar technique with her ultimate involves launching it straight in the air. If you've ever played Apex Legends, this is very similar to how sky nades work. You want to use this most of the time when you're on a payload, and what you want to do is just launch her straight into the air, about halfway through let her rip, and kaboom. This will take the mech out of the enemy's field of view and allow you to get some sneaky kills occasionally. Now that we've gone over her kit, it's time to see how to use D.Va in a game. Let's, uh, uh what's something D.Va says? Uh, nerf this! Hey, yo, why she wink at me like that? Hold up. Would it make her not gonna lie, the bathing suit might be a little less than business casual. So as you can see, uh, no one's looking at me. Aha! There you are. So I'm gonna dive onto the Moira, use all three of my abilities, and, and miss every shot. Wow. All right, and so now my health is getting a little low. I'm going to drop back and let my healers do their thing. Always remember to thank your healers. Oh, hello. Ow. See, this support's by herself. I just smack her in the face. The widow's by herself. 
Put a little, uh, okay, missile in her badusi. But once again, you can't overstay your welcome. So I'm just gonna back out for a little bit. We can see once again, this Widowmaker's trying to get behind us. So I'm just gonna dive right on her. There is nothing to, oh God, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Something I did wrong there, I got too ballsy. Should my team have been pushing with me? You know, yeah, they should have, not gonna lie. However, I should have realized they weren't taking that initiative. Remember that whole thing we were talking about, about launching your ultimate onto the point? Watch this. It didn't kill anybody, are you serious? Hey, but you know what it did do? It cleared the point. So honestly, you're welcome. Man, can't nobody do it like me. A doink. Oh my God, it is the fireman. This Sombra's by herself, that's an Orisa. <laughs> One big thing that uh, D.Va can do great is against Moira. She just absolutely gobbles down her little uh, her little balls. Wait, pause. Ow, ow, guys, 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 help. Please help, guys, 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 help. Uh -oh. When I needed you most, you left me. Oh, that guy is so displaced. Hold up. I'm just gonna... Ow, ow, ow. They're all shooting me. They're all shooting me. Oh, my God. Ow, ow, ow. Run, run, run. <laughs> all right, come on. What are you doing? Great. Oh, you're so much better than chats. It's a bean. More like that boy mean with the way he wield that sniper. <laughs> Roasted. <gasps> Ooh, how am I alive? How am I alive? Okay, 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 okay. Call back the mech. Oh, big sound barrier. Gonna go in on the boy. And the Kiriko. Put down a spray. That went so much better than I thought it would. Hi, Lucio. How you doing? Okay, never mind. Oh, that Moira is so weak. Where'd she go? I have no idea. I'm just kind of diving, if I'm being honest. Come here, you cowgirl. A doink. <laughs> I love doinking people in the face with this character. It is just so much fun. Oh, they're touching me inappropriately. I ain't give your dusty ass consent, boy. What the? Bleh. What the? Oh, oh, how are you here? How are you here? How are you here? How are you here? Get destroyed. Oh, and the Kiriko's out of place. Hold up. Wait for it. I'll hit a shot eventually, I swear. Hey, mind if I drop a nuke on you? That She threw her L1. Uh, that, that was just upsetting, I'm not gonna lie. One thing I think I failed to note in the actual, like, guide part of the video is that you cannot use her defense matrix and her fusion cannons at the same time. But see, I see this Ana's a bit out of place, so I'm gonna jump in and absolutely get destroyed. Holy crap. But I have my team right behind me to help me out. One of the big things about D.Va, and to be honest about every tank, is they are gonna be at their best whenever you have a consistent healer. And quite honestly, the healer doesn't even have to be consistent, the main thing is just communication. Letting them know when you're about to dive in so that they can heal your big robo booty is such a big part about playing D.Va. Also get destroyed, nerd. Oh, you poor wit- Damn. She got obliterated. Run, Moira, I'll protect you! Mo Moira, you're right in front of their spawn. Okay, are they- are they gonna contest the point? I- I guess not, okay. I mean, shit, that works with me. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please make sure to let me know by leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing. These are all free things you can do that greatly help out my channel, and once again, let me know that you're enjoying what I'm doing. Anyways, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video. Farewell.